In this video, we will be starting the functions of exchange. See, we have divided the functions into two parts. The primary function and your secondary functions. So first we will be discussing your primary functions. So number one is medium of exchange. See money is your medium of exchange. You do it every day. You buy the goods and services and you give the money for it. So you exchange your goods and services with money. You satisfy your wants with the medium of exchange that is money. So money is the medium of exchange. It means that money acts as a medium of the sale and purchase of goods and services See, in the absence of money, what was used to happen? The goods were exchanged for goods and it created a problem of double coincidence of wants. So, the money was invented and the main function and the primary function of the money is the medium of exchange. Now, the second function of money is measure of value or unit of value. Or unit of account. See, with the money, what has happened? To everything has been given some monetary value. If you go and buy a pen, the value of pen is in monetary terms. You go and buy a book, the value of book is in monetary terms. You go and buy a laptop, it is in monetary terms. You go and buy any good and services to in order to satisfy your wants all the goods and services are in the terms of money so the money has given a value to the unit so unit of value means that the value of each goods or services is measured in the monetary units. We have measured all the value of goods and services in the monetary term. The now we will be studying these were the two primary functions the third we have is here secondary functions of money so these are the two function now the third function which we will be starting is the secondary function the standard for deferred Payments, which means payments to be made in future. Deferred payments refers to those payments which are sometimes made in the future, such as the example payment of loan. So, deferred payments refers to those payments. which are made sometimes in the future see if there was an earlier a barter system then what we used to do we used to exchange the goods for good there was double coincidence of one 
right and moreover if you um, wheat with you in after some time it will be start it will be considered as a perishable good right as you have manufactured wheat so you need to give your wheat as soon as possible and exchange something for the wheat but with the evolution of money what has come up is the standard for deferred payments which means that you can hold on your money with you or you can buy your goods and services and make the payments in the future for example money has made deferred payments much easier than before when we borrow money from somebody we have to return both the principal as well as the interest amount right it is difficult to make transaction in terms of goods and services in that case imagine in the case of barter system we used to do so it is very difficult to make the transaction in terms of goods and services so we need to uh, we take the loan right and we pay the principal amount and the interest in terms of money in the future so money has given rise to a standard of deferred payments store of value is the fourth function of money see the value of rupees 500 can be stored with you you can deposit your 500 in the account at 500 the value of money will be stored with you but this is not in the case of barter system the goods and services we use to wear out or become perish after some time so the stored wealth is a source for future investment with you it was not convenient to store value in the barter system of exchange because goods tend to wear out or perish now it is convenient to store value in terms of money because see it is easy to store value in terms of money because there are factors why we can store value money has general acceptability you give money to everyone in exchange of any good or services on this earth you money can easily buy you money is a general acceptable second one is value of money remains relatively stable compared to other goods or services see your value of money remains stable if you have 500 rupees with you the value of money will be stable they will the it will be 500 with you even after the 10 years but the worth may increase or decrease after time to time but the value of money remains relatively same the third one we have is storage of money does not need much space See if you have the, it will take a lot of space in order to store. But now what does money take? If you exchange your wheat in the terms of money, what does money take? You can store money very easily. So this function is also known as the asset function of money. Asset function of money. The fifth function of money is the transfer of value. See, you can transfer your money from one person to another, right? And in that case, he can buy goods and services in the exchange of money. Now, you can also buy goods and services 
from the far places you sit in india you order a product from usa that will be delivered to you in india so if there was a barter system that we follow this was not possible because if you are in india you need if if there is barter system and if you are in india how will you send your goods to usa in exchange of the goods that come back to india so this was very difficult in that era but the transfer of value the money has given us the function of transfer of value we can sit in one place or we can buy goods and services from the far places and we can transfer the money to the producer or the seller so these are the primary and secondary functions for the money i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us